District 32. I want to echo a, a, a few comments from uh, my fellow colleague and attorney, Senator McKissick. What took place, you all know about the substance of the legislation, but just to give a little context, um, this act was signed several, uh, about two weeks after the slaying of the Freedom Riders. And there was a bipartisan uh, approach and coming together of, of, of folks from different sides of the aisle that put aside political um, perspective to do what was right, to do what was good. Those folks exhibited tremendous political courage in taking the stance that wasn't necessarily popular with their different constituencies. And so 50 years later, it is incumbent upon us to exhibit some moral courage and political courage as well. When we may have to take positions that may be unpopular in certain, um, in certain, with certain constituents. But the Civil Rights Act did a, it went a long way to remove institutionalized prejudice from our voting booths, institutionalized prejudice from our workplace, from our housing. And if you pay close attention to um, the, some of the recent legislation that has come out of our General Assembly, you understand the importance of having those protections in place and how that even though it's 50 years after the fact, these, dish, these issues still remain and still need to be addressed. I am here uh, because of the Civil Rights Act, that I, my community had an opportunity to vote and elect someone of their choosing to represent them. And I'm a product of that and extremely appreciative of it. Um, so there is more work to be done, as Representative Moore said. Thank you.